Williams back on the road for the UNCW women's soccer team as the Seahawks head north to face Hofstra and Northeastern in a pair of regionally ranked matches this weekend. Joined now by the head coach of the Seahawks, Paul Carney. And coach, we got to talk about this eight game unbeaten streak. First and foremost, the team peaking at a very good time heading into a couple of key matches. What has been some of the key success for you guys over the last four weeks? I think, you know, keeping our focus on the next game, uh, not the last game, has been important. You know, we walked off the field uh, up in Charlottesville on August the 23rd and it was a tough defeat and our kids kept their heads together and they stayed positive and, and we stayed positive and we just tried to win the next game. So I think if we keep that mentality and we keep that philosophy of focusing on the next game, it really does simplify everything. And that's really what all we're focusing on right now is, is Hofstra. Rewind a little bit to last weekend, you come away with four standings points. After a win against Drexel, you battled Delaware to a 2-2 tie and just looked like a game where it was a battle with conditions and uh, rain and all sorts of weather. And Talk about your team's resiliency and going that 110 minutes and being able to come away with a point. Well, I think in, in every conference game, whether you're playing in beautiful weather or, or, or you know, bad weather, you have to deal with tight games. And I think every game we play is going to be tight. Um, every surface can present its own challenges whether it's a small field or a, a turf field or a muddy field. You just have to play the game and, and not focus on it. Um, and I think our team have done a good job of that. Hofstra, your opponent on Friday, the, the pride boasting the player, preseason player of the year, and Leah Galton, also the player of the week. And you, you talked earlier in the week about trying to make sure that you've made it a tough go for what makes her such a good player and what are some of the things you guys have to do in order to uh, keep her contained on Friday. Yeah, she's a tremendous player. Um, really enjoyed watching her play the last three years. Uh, it seems we, we matched up with Hofstra in the postseason twice in the last three years too. And she is, uh, she's athletic. Uh, she plays with both feet. She strikes the ball better than any girl I've, I've seen in our league. Tactically, she's incredibly aware of what's going on and she's tough. Um, you know, I think, I think the, the coaching staff of Hofstra know what they have in her. And, and we, every opponent that plays know, knows what they have. She's a tremendous player, and it really has been an honor to, to watch her play the last three seasons, and, and we've got one more chance to, to try and get the win in her senior year. Keys to success for the team this weekend you, you, against two very, very tough opponents in Austria and North, Northeastern. Yeah, I think the key is not to give up goals. Um, like we gave up two to Drexel, we gave up two to Delaware. Um, that can't happen. Uh, I think we have to be tight defensively, we have to be compact defensively, and we have to take our opportunities to counterattack when, when it's on. And then the, the, the value of set pieces is something we've always preached to our team. And I think Hofstra are really good on attacking set pieces, so we have to be very good defensively. And then when we get set pieces, take advantage of them. Coverage of both games this weekend on the Seahawk Digital Network and uncwstats.com. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck this weekend. Thanks.